Welcome to another episode of All Things 80s with Garrett, and I'm Garrett. We're going to be discussing the latest Halloween film that came out in November of last year, or November of 2021, Halloween Kills. Uh, this scene is the Evil Dice and Night scene that's right behind me. Uh, we're going to be talking about this scene. Uh, it's a great scene. It's, uh, it's kind of funny to, to a little bit. It's just kind of, it's memorable for sure. But it does beg the question, there's, a very, there's some similarities to this uh, scene to another film that's the Stephen King Silver Bullet uh, film that came out in 1985. It's the private justice scene. And there's a lot of similarities there. And this, we're gonna look at that, but um, trying to do my whole Tommy Dole, which is Anthony Michael Hall right here, which is awesome that he was in this film. Uh, it's great to see him uh, still acting and I just love Anthony Michael Hall. So I'm trying to muster up my, my best uh, Tommy Dole intensity uh, for, this, for this episode. But the question get, begs is this, is it a ripoff of, of Stephen King's Silver Bullet or is it homage? And that's a question that you'll have to answer. We're gonna look at the scenes right now. Hospitals on lockdown. Right, listen, folks, listen, folks, please. The boogeyman is at large. He's got no choice but to emerge. He is an apex predator. When he surfaces, there will be no pause. There will be no empathy. This ends when Michael is dead. Yeah. Michael Myers will be executed tonight and it will not go without witness. We need all of you. Evil dies tonight. Yeah. Evil dies tonight. All right, everybody, calm down. The Sheriff's Department no, has no, 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 Sheriff, we will not calm down. We have watched your department fail. Fail tonight. This is Haddonfield. This is our town. He killed my daughter 40 years ago. And desecrated her body. Evil dies tonight. God damn it, Bracket. I am the law, not you. Tommy. Evil dies tonight. you're in what areas you'll be covering right right, right. Yeah, yeah, on, we've right. Been. groups one through four in the woods north of the stern full of place right yeah. okay. five and okay. six west of carson creek yeah. Yeah. yeah now if he comes out in the moonlight tonight for a stroll we're gonna get that song i want all of you people yeah. to go home all right everybody. i don't remember deputizing oh, a single one of you that's right joe no, 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 the only no, no, deputy no, you got is that fat shit bag beside you fail. and neither one of you has done Damn, anything about tonight. solving this case We'll catch him. You couldn't catch a cold. The law has a name for what you people are planning. It's called private justice. And private justice is about a step and a half away from lynch mobs and hang ropes. Now, I may be no J. Edgar Hoover, but I am the law in Tarker's Mills. I am the law, not you. I want all you people to go home. Yeah. Don't let this guy scare you. What's he done since this whole thing started but hang his face out? He ain't got so much as a fingerprint. You heard him? Let's go! Let's go! This is that community spirit you've been talking about. Great, ain't it? Evil dies tonight! All right, so I'm at location. Uh, this is the pose that Anthony Michael Hall was sitting here with the director, David Gordon Green. David Gordon Green would have been squatting right here. Uh, this is on the set for Halloween Kills. This here, what I just showed you, this is the location of uh, Halloween Kills, this is the Evil Dice and Night scene. This is Cape Fear, Cape Fear Community College, but this is Haddonfield uh, Hospital in the movie. And so the scene I just showed you, uh, Halloween, the Evil, Evil Dice and Night, tonight. Uh, the Anthony Michael Hall 
a scene. I've always loved Anthony McCall, and so just to be able to that, you know, to have him in this in this movie, but also that to be filmed here in Wilmington is really cool. Uh, but it goes back to the to the original question: Did you believe that that scene was a a rip off or homage to Silver Bullet, the private justice scene? That's a question that you'll have to answer. Uh, I don't think it was. I really do believe that it was just like it's, it's paid respect uh, to the fact. That I don't think it was a ripoff. I really think I really believe that it was a homage and just a, a nod uh, to Silver Bullet. They may not have even thought that it was. Um, maybe it was all unintentional. I don't know. But there's a lot of similarities. It's a great scene, and it was actually um, at least the exterior of the shot here was filmed right here at the Cape Fear Community College. We're only about. 15 minutes away from the location, from the private justice location. But I want to thank you for watching All Things Eddie's with Gear in this episode. Uh, please hit subscribe and hit like. I'd love to hear from you. Leave your comments below, and I'll see you on the next episode of All Things Eddie's with Gear. Right, listen, folks. Listen, folks, please. The Boogeyman is at large. He's got no choice but to emerge. He is an apex predator. When he surfaces, there will be no pause, there will be no empathy. This ends when Michael is dead. Michael Myers will be executed tonight, and it will not go without witness. Everybody, calm down. The sheriff's department. No, 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 sheriff. We will not calm down. We have watched your department fail, fail tonight. This is Haddonfield. I am the law, not you. Evil dies tonight. Evil dies tonight. All right, everybody. Evil dies tonight.